Only on 10 News, a vandal traces obscenities and the N-word in dust on cars in the South Bay. The owners of those cars, an African-American family. The 10 News reporter Michael Chen looked into the possible tie involving a series of crimes at a local high school. Days later, you can still see it. Reminders of a crime that continues to leave a painful impression. On Saturday morning, Navy veteran Ricky Atkins walked out of his home and saw this. You know, I was pretty upset. His family's car is an Acura and a BMW parked along Glenwood Spring, caked in a chalky film. The source of the dust, these fire extinguishers left near the cars. I'm, I'm not happy. You know, I'm not happy with it. Atkins even less happy when he saw what was written in the dust, obscenities, and the N-word, along with OHS for nearby Olympian High School. Both his daughter and son attend the high school. My son, he was pretty angry. Atkins tried to tone down the reaction, believing the words were written by kids being stupid. But he knows well the history and power of the word. So does his son. That would charge his emotion, because that's what charges mine. I know that I wouldn't let somebody, you know, say that directly to my face without a reaction. The vandal did not stick around for that reaction. Not a surprise. The neighborhood is not happy at all. In March, neighbors frustrated after video shows a teen stealing a package. <laughs> Police told us of an ongoing concern, a series of arrests and other cases, students at Olympian and other nearby high schools for thefts, vandalism, and burglaries. I really and truly hope they find them because they need to be taught a lesson. Michael Chen, 10 News. And Michael tells us the vandalism caused paint damage and hundreds of dollars in repairs. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers.